What is up ladies and gentlemen, and today I'll be showing you how to tame the brand new Oasis Saw in Ark Scorched Earth. Now guys, you will need the Bob's Tall Tales in order to tame this guy up. If you don't have that DLC, you will not be able to tame them. You will be able to still see them in the Scorched Earth map, however, so do keep that in mind. So the first thing you want to do is try and find one of these guys. They will be generally scattered around the desert wasteland. Then all you need to do is simply kill one of your tames and obtain its death essence. Now the death, death essence is obtained by actually harvesting up the creature and then searching its body bag. So for example, you can see here we've got this 225 Rex. If we go ahead and kill said Rex, we can't actually get anything out of it. So you actually need to harvest the Rex first before you go about trying to get its soul. Once you've successfully harvested up the body, there will be a body bag that remains. This contains the death essence that you will need to tame up the Oasis Saw. You can see there we now have a body bag slash item cache. Chuck that in there and then you want to find your Oasis Saw. Head onto the back of the Oasis Saw. Go to the restoration pool in front of it. And all you need to do is simply place the soul into there. And you can see there, protect the reincarnating creature to tame the Oasis Saw. So then it just turns into a bit of a defense game where you have to shoot everything that comes at it. Mainly vultures, to be honest. You can see here we've got a vulture already coming in at us. So it's not too difficult of a process. You will just need to sort of bear with it. The vultures themselves and the dinos I've found aren't that strong, but you will want to try and protect the reincarnating creature. You can see there the Rex is slowly coming back and we have a bunch of vultures inbound to us. Now, when you've successfully completed the wave, you'll get a notification saying that uh, there is a, that the wave is complete and you'll get a small amount of taming percentage. So the white bar under the green health bar is the wave uh, progress. So very similar to the element vein drops that we had on extinction. The more creatures you kill and the more creatures that come at you, the smaller that bar will become. And you can see here we have completed that wave. And if we come in here, we currently are at 24%, I believe, for the Oasis. So you can see in the top there, that uh, we're at 28.4%. So we've got another wave incoming, more vultures by the looks of it. So we're just gonna kill those guys and repeat this process until the Oasisaur is tamed. Now you can see that the vultures are getting higher in level. So make sure that you are prepared for this. And that green health bar is the health bar of the actual reincarnating creature as well. So keep that in mind. You obviously want that to be as high as possible, but the Oasisaurs themselves don't really have a taming percentage because they are only in at the low levels. So do keep that in mind. You can see there we're at 28% for the Oasisaur. We're halfway through this wave. You can see that through the white bar just denoted right there beneath the health. You can see there wave completed, taming and reincarnation progress increased. Now the yellow bar is the reincarnation progress. So you can see there are halfway. The Oasis Saw itself is also halfway. So we just have to constantly defend against any of the impeding creatures that decide to attack me and their reincarnation, which I find very ironic considering the dossier had some bull crap about planting topiaries and needing a lot of food to feed it in one go when you literally have nothing to do with that whatsoever. It's literally you just defending the back of the Oasis or with your tang. Like, it's a, it's a bit ridiculous that that's what the dossier says, but hey, it's Ark. We're probably all used to the bugs and the uh, randomness of it all. But you can see here, I've only really had vultures come in and attack. Nothing else, really, because there's nothing else that's able to get up onto the back. And just like that, you tame up the Oasis Saw. Now, you don't actually get your dinosaur back either. So do be aware that when you go ahead and kill the dino for the soul or the essence, you won't actually get your dinosaur back. But you can see here, we get all of the resources on the back of the Oasis Saw. So this gives us a heads up of what we are actually be receiving. It's going to say, where did it all go? So from this one, we can get sand, crystal, obsidian, flint, and stone just from the back of this guy itself. So these guys are really strong. You obviously can ride them as well. Our one is very weak from that tussle, but they do have the ability to fly and they also have the ability to walk. Now, in order to trigger the flying, all you need to do is hit spacebar. I'm just gonna buff this guy up a little bit because he is a little bit on the weaker side. There we go there. And you can go around with these guys and you can just chill out on the back of your oasis saw as far as i'm aware they have no attacks you can see here all of the buttons i'm pressing 
nothing happens with this big guy. You cannot attack with them. You just have to have the ability to fly and you can fly like walk around with them and that's pretty much it now when you're flying x and c are the buttons you can use to control the altitude and the height of the oasisaur as well and there are a variety of these guys depending on uh, what resources you want on their backs so you can tame up a large amount of them and then obviously have different resources here and there so these guys are really good now obviously you can only get these guys if you do have the dlc pack and if we jump off here, you, you can't actually harvest up any of the resources on the back of the Oasisaur. So do keep that in mind. I don't know where it's gone. It's on its own little journey. You can't actually harvest up any of the resources. But you can, however, place foundations and your own base on the back of the Oasisaur once you've tamed it up. You can see there we're able to place all of that. It does get rid of the resources. However, I'm unsure whether or not that would actually deplete the resources from the Oasisaur's pool. So keep that in mind. That's the only thing I would uh, stay aware of because it doesn't, I'm not sure yet whether or not those resources are gone forever or if it's because the Oasis has already had those resources on its back. It's aware of what it's got and it can just kind of hold on to them in that inventory. So these guys are really cool. Check them out. So yeah, now with the uh, Dino Resurrection mechanic, let's take a look at that right here. Okay, so in order to revive the creature that you want, what you need to do is you need to first access the Oasisaur's inventory. Not the actual pool, the Oasisaur's inventory itself. So go to another area of it and you can see here we've got the Rex Soul inside of it. Then what you need to do is open up the radial wheel and you can see here we can reincarnate Dino. Now it is on a 24 hour cooldown period. So there's probably going to be an I and I to actually um, change that so that you can resurrect your dinos faster. But that is how you go about resurrecting your dinos with the Oasisaur. Now you can see here we've got a different Oasisaur and this one has a bunch of different resources as well. You can see that is the wrong inventory. You can see in there we've got those resources. Now it does also appear that the Oasisaurs share a cooldown timer or if it's just specific to your player or once they're tame, I believe it's actually once they're tame, because the reincarnating dino when you tame them up, is actually what triggers this countdown timer to start. So once you tame up the Oasis, or you'll then have to wait 24 hours before you're actually able to resurrect any of your dinos. So keep that in mind when you go about taming these guys up, if you do have dinos that you want to resurrect, you will need to wait that initial 24 hours after taming them. But guys, that is pretty much all there is for the Oasisaurs. Like I mentioned, they don't really do much else other than have the resources in their pool. You are able to fly with them. You're able to walk with them. They do have that healing pool as well, which I actually forgot to mention. This provides a buff to you called Gaia's Embrace, which actually increases your health regeneration as well as your movement speed. So if you are on your own private server or single player as well, there is a command you can use to actually reset the Oasisaur's uh, incarnate timer. All you need to do is type in Oasis into uh, the admin bar and you can see there, reset Oasis reincarnate timer. Hit enter on that and that will allow you to reincarnate your dinos. So what we're going to do is reincarnate it now. So once you come over into the reincarnate dino, you can see there that we have the option and we can reincarnate our Rex. Now it does come back as a baby Rex because it does have to go through all of its life cycles. So you are responsible for obviously keeping it alive and feeding it. So you want to make sure that you're prepared for the baby version to come out. But just like that, you can see there we've got our baby dino that we lost, that died. So once that happens, obviously the Oasisaur will go back onto another cooldown timer. I'm wondering whether or not if we shoot this baby, don't judge me. Oh, I should have probably not done it on the back of the Oasisaur. I was going to say we could see if we get... That doesn't look like it's the case. I was going to see if we could get another soul for it, but uh, I don't believe that would work. So let's just do this real quick. And if I'm correct, we should see that the timer will have reset back to the 24 hours. But it's exactly the same as the parent. It's a, essentially a clone. That's what it is. It's a clone just in the baby form. But however, that does give you the opportunity to actually imprint on it. So if you get a dino with really good stats, you can't find a female to breed it with, you could potentially raise it from a baby again. And you can see there, the reincarnate dino cooldown timer is once again at 24 hours. So guys, that is my crutch. And that is how you go about reviving and taming up the Oasisaur in the new DLC. So guys, hopefully you enjoyed this. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. Subscribe down below for more and I'll catch you in the next one.